What's up guys, Jeremy Guzman here with another Ample Fourth tutorial. Um, earlier today, I was just scrolling through Twitter and I saw that Zapper integrated a function that allows us to not only add liquidity to the ETH Ample pool, but to also stake our pool tokens to start participating in the geyser. Now, this is kind of a big deal, especially within the Ample Fourth community, uh, because a lot of newcomers are a bit confused on how they could start participating after they have added liquidity whether on zapperfy or in um on uniswap so this is this makes it a whole lot easier to start participating not only on the adding liquidity end but also in the participation end as well so again in this demonstration i'm going to break down how to add liquidity one more time and to then uh, ultimately how to start staking your tokens to then start accruing ample in the geyser so with that being said let's get to it so you're going to go right ahead and type in Ample in the filter by token field. And the ETH Ample Uniswap V2 pool will automatically pop up as number one. In fact, it is, it is the number one Uniswap uh, liquidity pool uh, right now. Uh, as you can see, there's about $11 million in it. So congrats to the Ample Fourth community. Uh, great job to the Ample Fourth protocol team. Awesome product uh, so far. So now once you see that generate, we're going to click add liquidity. And a little window is going to pop up and we're going to choose which asset that we will be utilizing to to uh, use as our liquid asset so um, in this case i'll be using eth so i'll go right ahead and do point one i'll select which pool as obviously we're going to use the uniswap v2 eth ample pool and this is the approximate pool output then i'll choose which gas fee I'll utilize, I'll just choose average, click confirm. So as we wait for the transaction to confirm, we'll be right back. And we're back. So as you can see, the transaction has been confirmed. It's gone through and I now hold the ETH Ample Uniswap V2 token. And as you can see, there's something new that's going on here. It says it's unstaked. So now I don't have to go directly to the Ample Fourth Geyser page. In fact, I can just start participating right here by clicking stake. This is the proportionate amount of Ample, uh, ETH Ample Uniswap tokens I hold. Again, I have to pay a gas fee. In this case, I'll pay a quicker fee. You have to allow Uniswap to spend your Uniswap V2 tokens. Go ahead and click confirm. And just like that, you have successfully staked your Uniswap V2 ETH Ample token into the geyser and you are now participating in their distribution program. So as you can see, again, it says staked. The amount that I have staked or I have participated or added to the geyser and I could easily go ahead and click unstake. Now, if you go and navigate to the dashboard, what's really cool about this is I could go ahead and click on liquidity pools and it'll show which pool I am currently participating in, the balance of that pool and how much the proportionate value that, that it has. Now, let's say you would like to unstake, um, you want to get your rewards back after holding it for some time, you could go right ahead and do, uh, you could reverse engineer the process. So go right ahead and click unstake. Obviously I haven't accumulated any ample rewards, but say, say in the case that I've stayed a little bit longer, um, I would obviously claim a certain amount of accrued ample in which I'll be redeeming as well. But in this case, I'll just be withdrawing or unstaking my ETH ample Uniswap token. So I'll click, go with the average, click confirm. And just like that, I have unstaked my ETH ample Uniswap V2 token. So just like that guys, um, that's the quick breakdown on how you can start participating straight from zapper now you don't even have to go to ample fourth geyser page you can do everything straight from zapper.fi super convenient super fast um and it's minimal steps uh getting in, into the geyser so i really hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section or in the community chat looking forward to your feedback see you next time